I'm uh, Jiro Kokuryo from Keio University. Just remember me as Jiro. That makes your life simpler. <laughs> thank you. Uh, first, uh, I'd like to uh, thank you, uh, thank you uh, for uh, inviting me to, um, to this, uh, this forum of uh, incredible importance. I, I, I think the future of, uh, uh, of academia uh, lies on, uh, on, on you, I, I think. So, uh, and, and, and I'm, I'm very honored to, to be able to uh, address uh, so, uh, some, of the, some of the critical issues. Um, I, as, as has been introduced, I, I am right now uh, uh, Vice President for uh, International Collaboration uh, for Keio University. Two years ago, uh, my, my, my president, uh, president of Keio, uh, asked me to be, uh, to, to, uh, to, to, to my position, to, for, for, to me to, uh, to take on the position. And the first assignment um, I, I, I got uh, was to uh, apply for this uh, top global university uh, project uh, by the, the Ministry of Education uh, of Japan. There's a sort of a, a brochure of that uh, at, the, at the entrance if you are interested in that. Uh, the meaning of uh, applying uh, for that, and particularly his, his request uh, was to, um, to have that, have KO be approved as uh, the type A top global university uh, of Japan. Uh, meaning that uh, KO has to create uh, uh, a plan to be within the top 100 uh, research university of, of, of the world. And uh, that, so, so in making that proposal, um, I, I think he hired a Harvard MBA to do that, by the way, <laughs> uh, which is me. Uh, the, the, I, I, I repeatedly said that uh, to be in the sort of around, to, to be on around 200, uh, Times higher education can be done by improving communication, uh, but to be within the 100 uh, will, will require a fundamental um, reorganization of the university, and uh, I asked him whether he was up to it, and uh, he said, do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> So um, ranking, actually, uh, we, the, I have to apologize that um, the, 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 the presentation, uh, the slides, uh, doesn't include uh, a lot of uh, topics about ranking because I, I think that's sort of reflective or of our ambivalence towards, uh, towards ranking. Uh, on one hand, uh, we don't want to appear to, to, to try to evade that topic, uh, we want to take on that topic uh, right up front. But uh, there are certain things we. Th there are s the, the biggest conflict is that uh, in, in, there are certain things we value very highly right now, uh, like being able to conduct uh, higher education and higher research in the mother tongue, was something Japan has invested in a huge resource on uh, for, for about 100 years uh, to do that. I think it played a major role in democratizing knowledge, if anything, uh, in the Japanese society. And I'm gonna talk about uh, that kind of thing a little, uh, much more later on. Um, but at, at, at the same time, uh, increasingly uh, in, in a, in a, in, in, in a you know, internet age where, where uh, you know, you, 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 we do collaborative research 24 hours a day. You know, I, I, I do my part and then send it on to across the Pacific. Uh, you work on it during the day and you pass it on to Europe. And so, I mean, th th things like that happen. Uh, all, I mean, that's something that uh, we experience all the time, right? I mean, uh, today. So in this, in this uh, connected world, uh, it, it doesn't really, some, some of the things uh, doesn't make sense uh, any longer. And we, we, 
the, the application to this uh, top uh, university uh, program uh, really uh, forced us uh, to, to, to rethink uh, who we are and to how to uh, reposition uh, university, I mean, a, a, uni a, a top university in Japan uh, uh, for, 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 for the future. Um, to talk about that, let me, allow me to talk a little bit about uh, Keio University and uh, its, its current position. Keio University was uh, created uh, in 1850, uh, 50, uh, 1858, uh, which was the dawn of uh, Japanese modernization. Um, Commodore Perry from, did he leave from here? Maybe he left from here. Uh, uh, for most, most of Asia received the West from the West. In Japan's case, the shock of steel ships, steam steel ships, uh, arrived actually from the East, across the Pacific, uh, uh, with, with an American uh, uh, Navy and, and Commodore Perry, which, which was a huge shock. And, but uh, Japan uh, was uh, probably the first Asian country to really try to uh, adopt rather than reject. Uh, I mean, China was too proud to, uh, to, uh, to accept uh, civilizations of uh, barbarians, excuse me. <laughs> Uh, but uh, Japan has always been sort of the barbarian at the edge of Asia, and we're, we're, we're used to, uh, to receiving anything that's, that's useful. So, um, so that, that's why there was a major uh, uh, movement to, uh, to, 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 to try to uh, ad adopt the Western civilization. Really, at that, uh, in, in that uh, Asian context, was to, uh, to, to avoid being colonized. Uh, and uh, Kandimaru uh, is, is one of the boats that uh, we used uh, very quickly, and actually uh, our, our founder. Uh, but by the way, if you don't know the, oops, if, if, you, if you look at the Japan's highest bill, which is 10,000 yen bill, on the face of 10,000 yen bill, you see our founder, Yukichi Fukuzawa. I am very happy that he's, he's the founder of Keio, but more than that, I think we should all be, all be happy that uh, a face of an academic <laughs> is on the face, not politician, not the kings, but face of an uh, academic is on the face of the highest bill of uh, Japan. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Which is this guy uh, on, the, on the top right. So. Uh, He's the guy who uh, introduced uh, Western science and institutions uh, provided by the basic principles of modernization. Um, he's, uh, so, so one, you, 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 the, the, the uh, school emblem of, of Keio is uh, a couple of pens. And uh, we, it, the, the school motto is pen is mightier than the sword, which had a very, actually political uh, message that, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's not about importing weapons from the West. Uh, and of course, we introduce a lot of technology from the West. But uh, I mean, inter introduction of science, of all things, is, is the most important thing that brings prosperity to, to, to nations, was uh, the basis for his uh, foundation of uh, Keio University. Uh, he is also the one who, uh, for example, at the bottom, uh, right, that's, that's uh, considered a na national uh, treasury construction, which sits on the KO campus, which is the speech hall. The notion of free speech uh, was foreign uh, to, 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 to Japan, uh, which was basically a Confucian uh, society uh, that, uh, you know, uh, and, and uh, with a very hierarchical uh, uh, structure. But uh, he, he's the one who uh, 
who introduced a notion of uh, free speech, uh, liberalization of association, the freedom of association uh, was, was introduced. Uh, he was very practical, so he's, uh, he's uh, the per, uh, person, I mean, for example, uh, notions like patent system and joint stock company system uh, and uh, what else? Double book keep, uh, uh, keep uh, record uh, bookkeeping. All, all these things have been uh, introduced and popularized uh, by uh, Yukichi Fukuzawa founder. So, so that sort of the, uh, shows uh, Keio's position uh, in the world. Uh, but by the way, uh, you can tell from, uh, from, 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 from this story that uh, we are from at the beginning and still today, uh, we are very heavy on social science. And social science, the position of social science in the ranking is not. Uh, what's the right word in English? Uh, I, I, I think it should be given uh, uh, more uh, more uh, weight. Uh, so that I mean, for example, that's one of the things that uh, we, we 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 are struggling with. Although uh, the, the reason why we were uh, we, we could even shoot for uh, the top hundred is that uh, along the way uh, we, we added uh, we added many uh, uh, schools uh, on on. on, on I mean, like uh, particularly uh, the medical school and the nursing school and the pharmacy school. So out of the 10 undergraduate uh, faculties, we, we are the three of them are, are, are medical in, in some way. So um, that, that's why we can sort of even think of, uh, of uh, trying to shoot for a uh, higher ranking. Uh, and uh, we even have our even more uh, graduate, 14 graduate schools. Um, uh, the, 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 it's, it's, it's the, the, the sequence of uh, the, this. This is by uh, by its foundation. The first three, you know, a faculty or letters, economics and law, were the first three faculties that that have been created. Uh, uh, and then along the way, uh, other other departments have been uh, added to to the portfolio. Uh, we uh, I, I I was listening to. Um, to Peter and uh, the size size of uh, Akeo is about thirty three thousand, so it's sort of close to. Uh, and I, I think the breadth. You don't have medical school. We had we do have medical schools, uh, but, but it looks your story sounded very very familiar. <laughs> um, so uh, that's sort of the uh, uh, who we are. And uh, historically, I mean, Keio has been quite successful, I, I think, that uh, brand-wise, uh, Nikkei, which is the uh, sort of the Wall Street Journal equivalent of Japan, uh, is sort of give, uh, recognized Keio to have the, the strongest university brand uh, in Japan. Particularly, we, uh, we, uh, we have been very fortunate to be very, very, very popular among uh, employers. Uh, in, in, in the Japanese industry. Uh, but I think sort of historically, so, so from 1858 to 1945, which is the end of the Second World War, uh, Keio's uh, probably the mission was to modernize uh, Japan. Uh, and after 1945, uh, of course, Japan really tried to uh, reconstruct uh, through industrialization, which requires large number of, uh, of middle class managers, I mean, mid middle managers, who are capable of managing, you know, factories and, 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 and so forth. Uh, and uh, that, that was a happy time where uh, many companies could, uh, could provide stable and lifelong employment and uh, and, and KO has done uh, a very good job uh, in, in providing very capable people uh, who, under these employment, uh, uh, supported the Japanese industry and uh, has focused on general uh, rather than professional education. Uh, I wouldn't call KO liberal art uh, university, but uh, uh, undergraduate program, uh, yeah, it's what well, you might call 
the undergraduate, uh, our undergraduate program uh, very sort of liberal arts uh, oriented. Uh, and, uh, and large classrooms and systematic education, because uh, in order to provide, we, we, we needed to supply large number of uh, middle managers who are capable of uh, implementing uh, what has already been studied. So we, we so sort of a systematic education of the basic principles uh, was, uh, we've done a tremendous job at that. In order to do that, education in the mother tongue was, uh, was quite uh, useful or powerful. Uh, this is, I mean, this was one, uh, many of the Asian universities uh, under colonial rule have been created by, uh, uh, by the language of the, uh, uh, of the, uh, uh, the, the colonizing uh, countries uh, and, and predominantly English speaking. And that has done, uh, I, I think it has done, a, looking back, uh, ma many of the Asian countries like University of Hong Kong, University of Philippines, uh, University of Singapore, they always, they, they always provide um, uh, education uh, in English, uh, which, which makes their uh, efforts uh, in, uh, in this globalizing world a little, uh, a little easier. Uh, we have been investing hugely on uh, really many of the scientific concepts were translated and it was literally about creating new language structure. Not just words, but even grammar had been transformed to, to, to make it possible for us to uh, to, uh, to, to implement, I mean, to, to, to do research education uh, in higher education uh, in, uh, in, in the Japanese language. And I think it has done a tremendous job in uh, bringing the elite class closer to, uh, to, to, to the working people, uh, which, was, which, which we believe is the, uh, the, the critical strength of uh, Japanese industry even today, uh, and uh, so uh, I mean we 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 can train our our uh, our students uh, in English, and then but but then it, when when they they when they go to the to 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 to, to the factories and to the uh, to to the field, uh, can they communicate? Uh, the same to to the uh, to, to 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 the to the working people. That's that's sort of the big issue. That's 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 we are, we're trying to we're trying to figure out. Um, oops. I, so this is what. So this 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 earlier success is uh, now haunting Japan. Uh, in Keio's case, uh, a, a very strong position in social science. And by the way, social science or the uh, humanities are the two fields where uh, the, the the impact of mother tongue is uh, is uh, somewhat larger. Uh, our law school is trying is really struggling uh, to try to teach law that's written in uh, trying to teach law in English that's written in Japanese language, so, so that's sort of the <laughs> thing we are, we, we, we're trying to uh, figure out. But having said that, having said that, I, I, think, we should, uh, I think we should recognize that uh, we, we, we're now uh, living in a, in a, in a very uh, in a rapidly globalizing world, and the issues we have to tackle with uh, are becoming Increasingly global. I mean, as activities, as the human activities become more, more and more global, as the technologies impact of technology become larger and larger, and the the impact of technology go beyond uh, traditional borders. I mean, it's it's only natural that uh, our academic uh, activities have to, to has to globalize. Uh, our, our, ourselves, and of course, there's a huge uh, competition uh, for talents. 
that can operate uh, effectively uh, in, in globalized uh, environment. So, so we, we, we do need people that can uh, go out to the world, communicate with the world, and uh, try to come up with uh, solutions uh, with the world. So that's why, um, because my boss says so, <laughs> I, 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 I wrote a huge uh, restructuring plan to, to, to globalize KO. And uh, uh, about a year ago, uh, no, about a year ago I was writing that. So uh, uh, last October, we, we, we've been, rec uh, with the Japanese government to decide to, to award uh, KO, recognize KO as a type A research university for the top global university project of uh, Japan. Uh, we are among I think there are 13 uh, universities uh, in Japan have been chosen to that. I think behind this is uh, that the reason why the government is trying to do this is that science is becoming very expensive and that they are not able to fund, uh, I mean, the, 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 the historically Japanese university policy was to create, the, there are 48 so-called prefectures, like the state in the US, uh, in Japan. And that, that there are uh, national university in, in each, each one of them. But uh, today's science beca is becoming horrendously expensive, especially the medical school. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it's, it's becoming impossible to, um, to, uh, to, 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 uh, to fund uh, all of that uh, as a research. I mean, of course, we will continue to need um, uh, uh, education-centric uh, uh, universities. Uh, so, so there was a huge competition uh, last year uh, in Japan to, uh, to, to get into, to, to becoming one of the uh, four, one of the, so there's type A, 13 type A top global university and 24 type B, was it 24, I think. Uh, so, uh, so, so uh, about, about uh, a little less than 40 universities have been chosen as the global, top global university and uh, 13 was chosen as um, type A. And, and uh, so, so, so right now, n now I'm being asked to do it. <laughs> uh, which, 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 which is sort of a lot of work. Um, but uh, when in, upon, upon upon writing, I mean this this, this proposal, I mean this, this really forced us to uh, to to rethink or to re rewrite the, the mission uh, of uh, of the university to to characterize it. I mean I think so. So as I said, the first phase was to um, to to modernize Japan and to to to, to develop Japan based on uh, the Western knowledge. And then the second phase was prob probably to provide uh, the human capital that's, that's, that's necessary for Japan. But I, had th I think in, 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 in order to really become uh, the top global university, we, we, want, we, we need to be, uh, we, we need, really need to, to, to contribute to, to address the global issues rather than Japanese issues. So, uh, so we vow to enhance the sustainability of the world uh, through jitsugaku. Jitsugaku was the, the word that uh, Yukichi Fukuzawa used to, uh, to, to mean science. Um, so knowledge uh, is, uh, is, is sort of, sort of the, the root message that we are trying to uh, deliver. So, so this means, I mean, we, we, we want to, I mean, this is not only about becoming internationally famous. Uh, I, I, I put only because, yes, there is that agenda. Uh, but because the world faces issues that need to be uh, resolved at, 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 at global levels. So that's why uh, here is the communication thing. It's, 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 it's impossible to try to promote 10 undergraduate faculties and 14 uh, graduate schools. I mean, we, we all say you know, all of them are very important, all of them are very significant, but that's, you can't remember 14, right? So, 
Uh, in addition to that, uh, I mean, the, the world is looking for uh, academic institution, I mean, solution uh, rather than uh, that the basic discipline. So while we honor, I, I think this is a shared feeling among academia, while we, we, we honor the importance of uh, the disciplines, each disciplines and the graduate schools that really provide uh, you know, fundamental uh, knowledge uh, and, and training uh, in, uh, for, for these uh, uh, basic disciplines. Uh, we want to show to the world uh, how we can provide uh, integrated knowledge in uh, providing solution to uh, some of the uh, key issues of the world that, that we are uh, that that uh, that the world uh, uh, faces. Um, by the, by the way, we uh, the, the criteria for uh, to making this was it has to be important and it has to be something Ko can contribute was the two sort of the basic criteria uh, in, in organizing. Uh, and we 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 sort of we we made a commitment at the headquarter, which is actually kind of weak. <laughs> Uh, headquarter resources will be funneled uh, through uh, what we call clusters. These are the three clusters. I mean, you can you can see that sort of the parallel. The aging is the longevity, and uh, issues uh, developing. Uh, I mean, uh, no, no, no. Uh, risk. You know that the risk. Uh, is security and uh, innovation, creativity. So, so these, these these are the sort of, sort of the three major clusters, and uh, we've we've chosen three um, deans of uh, our graduate schools uh, to to head these, to to really uh, promote uh, uh, integrated uh, research to provide solution to those things, as well as publicizing. I mean, so sort of in, in conveying our um, our research uh, results, uh, we tr we try we try to categorize, put them in, in one of the, these boxes to 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 make rather than a hundred, I mean, a thousand different research, we 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 try to uh, promote three groups of uh, of research. So that's sort of our communication strategy. Uh, so. And 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 we did, and of course these these I mean like aging society we 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 are happy to report that Japan has a life pro, uh, one of the highest uh, life expectancies longest high life expectancy in the world which is a good news as well as uh, tough news <laughs> um, and uh, the, uh, the I, I think the, the the solution to to that it has to be to um, to, to, to make the productive age uh, longer so that uh, you can work until a day before you die. <laughs> In order to do that, you have to make uh, work a happy one, right? <laughs> so we, we, let's discuss uh, how that can be possible. Uh, so so uh, so so we, we uh, I mean it, it has to be a combination of uh, of our medical school efforts as in addition to like our president himself is, is the uh, the key architect of Japanese pension system reform plan right now uh, and uh, so so it has to, I mean he's an economist so I mean it, ha it really has to be an integrative one the attention uh, the uh, China, for example, is uh, starting to enter the same phase that Japan, uh, I mean, did in terms of aging. Uh, I mean, Korea is I mean, going along with us almost simultaneously. China is, I mean, same, similar problem is going to happen in China in about 20 years. Uh, we sort of know that. Uh, so so to, 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 be, to, to invest uh, in a uh, solution uh, for these, uh, for these uh, right now, uh, is, uh, is critically important. 
there are many vehicles that I'm trying to, I, I created and uh, managed. I mean, double degree has already existed, but um, uh, the, 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 I mean, through uh, several vehicles and funding uh, headquarter resources uh, 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 to, to uh, some, some of the major uh, vehicles for uh, globalizing our education and research. I mean, having, simply having a international thesis advising committee uh, will, 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 I mean, we know will stimulate uh, our students to, to, to think globally. Uh, I mean, it will, for, I will, it will certainly force them to write in English rather than uh, in, uh, in, in Japanese and, they, and, they, and exposing them to uh, international criteria for, uh, uh, for evaluation. Uh, will, will, will certainly stimulate not only the students, but uh, our, our faculty also. So I'm trying to sort of force that kind of culture uh, through uh, some, of the, some of the vehicles uh, like that. Uh, in the last, uh, do I have like 10 more minutes? Yeah, about 10 more minutes. In the last 10, more, uh, 10 minutes, I mean, uh, by, 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 uh, uh, by background, uh, I'm, I'm an academic uh, in, uh, in business uh, with a particular focus on uh, information technology. And uh, so I started looking at uh, acad the business of academia <laughs> uh, through, uh, through, through my own eyes and uh, started to started to recognize the uh, enormity of the uh, the change we are about to face uh, and uh, and the infrastructure we should uh, we, sh we should build on uh, uh, to, to, towards that uh, cloud computing I, I think uh, uh, the, 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 the mechanism of citation and el uh, electronic publishing have existed uh, for the last 30 years. Uh, but I, th I think the, uh, uh, the emergence of cloud computing is really making a, an enormous impact on how, uh, we, uh, how, how we design and uh, operate our, our knowledge infrastructure, if you will. And uh, we are all being uh, feeling the, the, the impact of, of that. The, the design philosophy for that, I don't think exists in a very clear way. Network externality of information, that is the value of pieces of information increase as, uh, as connections uh, increase. So sort of, sort of a isolated information uh, has little value, but the, when, when, when two pieces of uh, information are connected, the, the, the value increases uh, tremendously. Like if, if you in this room, uh, we can say, I mean, if, say the police is searching for uh, a suspect and the suspect, there's a piece of information that suspect is, uh, is a woman, we have a sort of a 50-50 chance. I mean, like the half, that doesn't, uh, uh, that that's 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 valuable, but if there's a additional information that uh, the suspect is wearing blue, uh, again, uh, people wearing blue are there, including myself. Uh, there are many, but uh, I, I think I only see a couple of uh, people wearing uh, uh, ladies that, that's wearing blue. So, so I mean, so that, that's sort of the symbolic. Thing, but uh, so so p information, when collected on the cloud, and the engines uh, for analysis of data is, uh, I mean, because there's a huge commercial uh, benefit by profiling consumers. I mean, that's sort of the, my main area of research. Uh, a huge investment is being made. Uh, we, in, in some ways, we, we are benefit. We are already benefiting uh, that from that. We were trying to sort of uh, providing ID to a researcher and providing ID to uh, documents and providing. So, so we, we tr we're trying to m organize the scattered information. That's, I mean, like myself, I write in Japanese. I write in English. Also, to the, these two people look 
completely different pre people in many database, and I have to ma connect them manually to, to, to shows. I mean, th that's sort of one example. Uh, on that cloud, uh, right now, uh, predominantly the, the, the literature is uh, in English. I, to some extent, I think this is inevitable because uh, English is the common language for collaborative work and the importance of collaborative work is increasing tremendously. Uh, at the same time, uh, many of the uh, works uh, uh, from our, from our uh, faculty simply doesn't exist. I mean, they do exist, but they don't exist. You know what I mean, right? Uh, and uh, to... Uh, particularly in humanities and, in, and to large extent social sciences, uh, taking, taking the content out of the uh, linguistic uh, context deprives a lot of value from the work. So, so I mean, we, so, so, I mean that this is exactly so, sort of the um, ambivalence that, that uh, uh, we, are, we, we are feeling. In addition to that, frankly, uh, I mean, again, we are very, in a, in a very productive uh, relationship with Elsevier. At the same time, uh, I, I think we all, we, we all fear that, uh, that, that we, yes, yes, I echo the point that we should maintain our own database. Uh, but how to design that and to execute that is, is, remains a major issue. So many of the, the things like electronic journal platform, digital archive platform, authoring support, abstract database, researchers, social network, uh, metadata platform. In addition to that, uh, yes, indeed, uh, things like research node, I mean, all, all these things are, be are becoming important. And while 10 years ago we could uh, build these systems separately, independently, increasingly uh, everything is, is on, the, on the cloud and increasingly the data is uh, being connected. And uh, so, I mean, that, 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 that's why uh, our, our research division and uh, our library has to work together in addition to uh, to our public relations people who are maintaining the web, but uh, we really don't have the, 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 the metadata for, I mean, sort of integrated metadata system doesn't exist. So we almost have to connect everything manually when, uh, you know. Uh, and, 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 and the institutional, uh, so, sort of Increasingly, uh, the uh, researchers are connected directly to the cloud, uh, bypassing uh, university infrastructure. But that doesn't mean, I mean, but from institutional research institution point of view, we really need to, to take control of the data uh, under our budget and under our control and under our responsibility. And how to do that uh, is, uh, is a, is, is a major issue. We are, we are feeling that um, science, the nature of science itself is starting to change because of the uh, information infrastructure. Uh, you know, when, when we are talking about, you know, I belong to a generation where data was scarce, so we, I, we do sampling, that the cost of information was very expensive, so we, we do sampling and, and try to estimate the population from these uh, sparse uh, information. Now we are living in the world uh, of, of big data where you don't need hypothesis. You sort of force hypothesis out of the data. And uh, if that's, this is not an obvious exaggeration. But um, we are, we, we're starting to, maybe we are starting to uh, observe the end of logical, pos I mean, almost end of science. Is this really? Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, we, we, we need to be uh, to be of course aware. I mean, as institutions, academic institutions, uh, we 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 need to uh, face the uh, emerging emerging trend like uh, open science. What's 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 the role of academic institutions? Uh, 
uh, can we provide, uh, you know, what, what should we provide to these individual researchers, independent researchers, uh, that's uh, starting to play a, a significant role. So, um, so I, th I, think, I think we all need collaboration, both within uh, individual institutions and across institutions to, uh, to, to create a diverse range of knowledge creation, uh, a, a, a platform on which a diverse range of knowledge creation can coexist and interact. Multilingual platform uh, that honors multiple styles of expression, we need that desperately. Uh, and it has to be open and transparent platform that researcher can use without the fear of uh, exploitation. Uh, it's easy to say these wishes, how to do it is, I don't know. <laughs> so I, I came to seek for your advice on, uh, on these kinds of things. Thank you very much. <laughs>